Hello everyone, welcome to class 5. In this uh, class, we will be learning how to create a shampoo bottle, uh, texture it, then do lighting and do the final uh, product uh, visualization. So to do that, you just drag and drop this image into the front view. So first we will be modeling. Okay, so let's bring it. I don't need this cube this time. So we'll be just starting with cylindrical shape since this is like a little bit of cylindrical object so let's we'll start with a cylindrical shape back just adjust it here okay so now i'll just go to this uh, texture properties uh, there are different options over here we can see it here So you can see there are uh, different attributes which you can check it over here for the scene if you want to adjust anything. Okay, so if you want to adjust a background color. So I have this object. I'll just select this object now. Then uh, you go to this option. So there are different options over here. So you have to go to uh, this option called object data properties. Use alpha. Now I'll just reduce the opacity of this layer. Okay, so once I bring this down. Okay, so now uh, let's start by creating a cylindrical shape. So go to mesh, add mesh, I'll just add a cylinder. Okay, so once you add a cylindrical shape, just try to adjust here. Okay, so uh, if you see that model over here, I'll just go to scale, I'll just adjust it like this. Okay, so if I just uh, go to this object, it will be not uh, like this rounded. So you have to just scale the bottle shape like this. Okay, so even down also. So let's just adjust this position of this. So it is nice and rounded. So from here, just start modeling. Okay, so once you are in this stage, you have to uh, make sure that you just adjust this first properly. Uh, then you go to this edit mode, click on this edit mode. Then select this polygon faces. So you have face, select this. And you have to extrude this now. Okay, so there is a extrude tool which is over here or you can also press E on the keyboard for extrusion. Now just click this up, start extruding this shape again here okay so this time uh, it is changing the shape over here so again i just extrude one more time and you go to scale tool just scale it like this you can see here okay so again uh, if you want to scale in this direction also a scale in this direction so it is going to change the scale like this again press extrude lift it up again here so this time again it is going to scale the scale like this so just want to scale uh, to get that shape okay so we have this shape now so i just uh, can adjust to make it rounded because the top part will be a little rounded so just start adjusting the shape okay so if you want to add some of the segments you can add it over here to get that shape so you can go for this uh, x-ray mode to see this I just come down over here select the down faces now you start extruding this stuff press e pull it down here now just push it inside like this so one more time you press e little down this time and just close this just close in this way also okay so this is fine Okay, so once you have uh, reached the stage uh, now what we have to do is you have to create a cap for this okay so first we'll create an inside part of this so let's bring this face which is the top face i can select this top face and bring this down till here and i'll just extrude this up 
Okay, so I can just scale little bit now because it is little this much. Okay. Try to make it rounded. Like this. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so now you just extrude this up till here. The cap will be so. The cap part will just make separate. Okay, so first you just make again extrude. Press E and just lift it till here. Suppose till here. And what will happen is it will uh, open up over here. So what you have to do is you have to use this uh, tool called Insert Face Tool. So just like this. And again, uh, press Extrude. Push this inside here. So there will be gap there. So let's keep till here. And uh, we don't need these faces, okay, because it will be open. So we don't need that face. You can just delete the faces. You can check here how it looks. Okay, so now we added here, so there will be some kind of uh, grip over here. So to add that grip, uh, what you can do is you can just create edge loop. So you can just use this loop cut tool. Let's draw the uh, loop cuts like this. So just draw a lot of loops like this here. Okay. So once you have done this, now you can just select uh, these loops. You can uh, select this, uh, you can go to select, you can go to loops, you can select this edge link uh, ring loop too. Okay. So if I just hold Control and click it is going to select the faces so you can select the edge loop here suppose this is that loop you want to select So that uh, what all the edges so if I hold control and click it is going to select that edges uh, faces sorry so you select that Now go to select loop edge loop now hold control on the keyboard and if you click it over here it is going to select the faces for me. Okay, so now if I just don't want any kind of these faces so you can just go for this uh, tool hold control on the keyboard deselect this so that uh, it has uh, deselected that whole face so here also we have so you can just start deselecting these faces Okay, so there are different uh, tools for uh, deselecting. If I just go over here, I can also go for circle tool and you can start deselecting like this. Okay, so just select and deselect. So you can see that how uh, we can adjust this. If you want to adjust the radius of this tool, you can adjust here. And then you can just start selecting these faces. So how can hold shift? So this is a nice tool uh, if you want to do the selection. Uh, just by dragging this, you can do the selection like this. So whatever you don't need, hold control and deselect. If you don't need this, hold control and deselect this also. This also you don't need. Okay, so like that, I'm just uh, selecting the alternate faces over here. Select like this, and this is that alternate face I don't want to select. Just okay, so uh, practice this uh, way of uh, selection. Hold uh, shift and drag, shift and drag. So don't worry about this. It's okay. This I'll just now hold uh, control and deselect this if I just want to select. So what else this has to be deselected, you can just hold control and deselect this like this. 
press shift to select and control to deselect like this Okay, so this part also I don't need. So just try deselecting this like this. Okay, so once you have done this, now you can just uh, select this extrude along normals. And I can pull this out. Like this. Okay, so some uh, thickness I just want to give there. So again, one more time, if you want to pull this out, not this much, this is fine. Okay, so once you have done this, uh, now you can just uh, select. Okay, so let's go for the selection tool. Select all these faces. Hold shift and select all these faces. Control and deselect this. As you can see that uh, how we are selecting the faces, hold always shift and select this face. And you can just uh, hold control and make it more rounded. I just want more circular shape on the top. Okay, so it should not be oval shape. So if you want to scale whole thing, you can just scale whole thing like this. Okay. So uh, once you have done this uh, shape, what I want to do is I just want to smooth it out. To smooth that out, I have to come out of this edit mode, go to object mode. And select this object, go to modifier, add modifier. And here I'll just use this subdivision surface. Okay, so once I add this, you can see it becomes smooth. So now what you want to do over here is you just want to see this here you can see the jagged edges so right click and shade smooth. Yes, okay, so this is what uh, we have now. So any of the segments you want to add you can go to this cylindrical shape and you can add any of the loop over here if you want to adjust. So let's add one loop and let's scale this out to get a shape this portal so wherever has to be added you can add the loops like this here so let's add and scale this out this one. okay so now we can just create a cap okay so how much you want you can just give that much smoothness for this so top you want you don't want that shape to go so here we need to add some of the segments so we'll go for this loop cut so where I just need to add the segments here. So just lift this up. So this when I lift this up, uh, it is maintaining the shape. On the top surface, you can just zoom here also. And here also you just add one more segment. So now come out of this. Uh, Edit mode. So now we can see that we are in object mode. Now we can see this how we just created this uh, shape for this. Okay, so now we'll just create a cap. So for creating the cap, again you have to go to cylindrical shape and just add uh, this. So go to add, go to mesh, use a cylinder, scale this down. Uh, then lift this up. So we'll just create only this cap now. Okay, so how much uh, we want that size of that? We'll just check it now. So once we have done this till here, this is the part. So I'll just uh, switch off this, and I'll just start creating this uh, shape now. So again, you can go for X-ray. We are in this mode, so just start scaling this down. Just lift it up. Just scale it down now. Let's just adjust this now. Okay. okay, so now uh, we'll start adjusting the shape. Uh, so go to edit mode, 
to this cap now go to this faces so let's go and select this top face top face over here you can see this dot uh, that you can select so let's adjust the shape now for this bottom so till here then i can press i e on the keyboard to extrude this out then scale this out a little bit so how that shape is i just want to do that again press e lift it up till uh, this point again scale it out I said just uh, bring till this point uh, and the top part is the cap part so uh, that you can model from this and then we can just separate uh, these faces so press E again lift it up scale it down this time again press E lift it up till this point and again scale it down like this Okay, so we have this shape, uh, basic shape of the bottle. Now I can just add some segments here. Let's go for scale. Let's scale it. Like this. Okay, so let's start adjusting the shape of this. Now uh, we need to separate this out. The top part has to be separate. Okay, so for that, what you can do is you can just select this edge. X-ray mode, I can select this edge. Now go to select. Select loops. Edge loop. Okay, so this is what we have now. So I can just hold control and select. It is going to select the whole face. If you want to select like this, hold shift and select. Okay, so I'll just go to the selection tool and I'll just hold shift and drag selecting this faces. So I don't want this come out of this x-ray. Increase the radius of this. Hold a uh, shift. Like this. This is top part should be separate. This should be separate. That's why I'm doing this. Okay, so once you have done this, uh, press P on the keyboard to separate. So once I press P, I can just go to the selection. Now this top part is separate and this part is separate. Okay, so here there should be holes. So you can just make the object mode and select this object now. You can see now I'll go for Edit mode, go for selection, click on selection. Now you can just insert face like this. Then press E to extrude and lift it till up. So till this uh, point, it's fine. Okay, so now. Uh, what I'll just do, I'll just go to object mode. So this part is separate. So this is the cap part. So you can just make a name as cap. Cap top part. Okay, so and this is cap a bottom part. Okay, so when I go for this cap or uh, top part, you can just apply modifier over there. So you can just go for subdivisions and just give two. Now right click here, smooth shape. Okay, so I just want that smoothness for that. Okay, for this also, now I can just hide this. Now select this part. And I just want to close uh, this part. So we can just select the edge. Go to edge edit mode, you can select this edge. Okay, go to the selection tool. And I can select this. So go to this quick tweak select tool and then click on this. And go to select. 
select loops edge loop okay so i need to close uh, this part leaving some gap over there so let's close this now press e okay so when i press e on the keyboard it is going to extrude like this so you have to have different tool for extruding extrude along the normals so we can extrude like this okay so now uh, lift this part up Yes, I just want a little gap there. So again, I just scale it now. So this is fine. Yes, again, you just extrude, uh, press E. Like this. So little opening should be there here. So again, uh, press E. I can just press Escape and then press R on the keyboard for the scale tool. So this is what I want here. Again, press E. Let us just press E again and just push it in. So this is what I want. Some opening on the top of this. Okay, so that's what uh, that's it. We have to do it over here for getting the shape. Now we just go to X-ray mode. So there is some kind of shape change over here. So we need to add some loop. So go to edge loop tool over here, loop cut. On the top, you need to add some loops here. Okay, so here also I just want to add. Let's just check uh, how it looks. Here also just add some segment. So now we go for vertex mode and I have to select uh, these vertex. What is this? This is the vertex which you need to select. And you need to just get this shape. So just bring this down. This uh, bring it here. This. Okay, so this is the shape I want. Now come out of this X-ray mode, so you can see uh, what you have done over here. Okay, so we can just lift uh, this little up now. Okay, so this is that uh, cut I want it over here. Okay, so when I just uh, give the smooth, you'll understand why I did that. When this, I'll just bring this little down to get that shape over here. Okay, so let's uh, find this. Now let's add a smoothness, smooth modifier to this. So we do object mode, then go for subdivision surface. Okay, so now uh, we need some kind of depth over here because we have created some of the shape. Uh, now to create a depth uh, inside this, uh, what you'll do is you'll just add some segment for this. Okay, so open this. So select this object, open this cylindrical shape. So we need to add some kind of loop cuts over here. Okay, so go for loop cut and draw one loop cut on the top draw one loop cut over here okay so just to give that sharpness let's do that we come out of this object mode now we can say that we got uh, this this is what i was looking for so just come out of this mode now now we can just right click here smooth shade it This one. Okay, so just uh, to open the cap, you need something in there and just uh, create this shape. Now you switch on this top part. So we have this now. Now switch on this portal. 
uh, this bottle make sure that everything is aligned uh, properly so select the cap select this bottle let's make sure here okay so uh, here if it is uh, changing some of its shape uh, you need to add some kind of segments over here so select this select the cylindrical part and here also you just add some loop cuts to make it sharp here so zoom in and here also here okay so uh, we are done with this so go to object mode now so we have uh, this uh, bottle ready for now are uh, doing the texture so we'll see you in this uh, next session for uh, doing the texturing uh, part of this so in this tutorial uh, in this session we'll be learning about um, lighting and material and unwrapping this uh, bottle so before doing anything what i prefer to do is i'll just prefer to fix the camera first for the scene then i'll just add backdrop for this then i'll do the lighting and then i'll just work on the material so i just work uh, like this so just press select the camera fix it okay, so i just want uh, this in the top view i'll just check so now type it here okay this zero this let's just place this now here just bring it back bring this down okay so you can check that camera how it is looking now so if you're happy you can just place it here just move towards right like this Okay, so can I scale? Uh, it's fine. Okay, so once you have done this, so now what you have to do is you have to create some plane uh, for giving the base for this. So go to add, just add a plane. Just scale the plane. Like this, so let's adjust this. Okay, so now I just go to edit option. You select this uh, tool, I can just select this option. So I can select the edge now. So once I select this edge, yes. Okay, so you can just select this edge, two edges we have. So press E on the keyboard and just lift this up. Yes, once we have done this, uh, you can select this edges and uh, you can go for this bevel tool just like this and increase the number of segments here so increase the number of segments like this okay so this is uh, i'm just creating a backdrop uh, for the background so once you are done you can just uh, fix the camera and check this is fine come off of this mode so let's go Okay, so this is my uh, object now i'll just use basic uh, material for this okay, so we have only one light inside the scene okay so what i'll do is i'll just select the light okay and uh, this light i don't want this default point light so we have to convert that into area light so i'll just uh, like a studio light this is one area light which will give uh, some kind of uh, height and width how you see inside the studio so if i just select this area light we have the size of this x and y okay so that i can just place this light now so let's place this light here just rotate There's a light position you can just set it here so let's see how it looks even the rotation has to be done for this light to get this rotate okay so we just set one light to check that lighting you can just click here 
so we can uh, see the lighting how it affects the scene so just lift it okay so lift this up now so i want uh, the light to uh, lit the whole scene so i'll just again press shift d duplicate it place on the other side from the top view just this side also i need some light to affect the scene okay so you can also uh, scale this so you can see that uh, the light rotation how it is and you can wide widen that so x and y axis you can see how we can spread the light okay, so as soon as you see it over here you can see here now so if you want a little bit of broader light you can just scale this I want uh, one more light to be placed. So this. So I want one more light on the back side of this. So duplicate shift D. Just place it on the back side. So we are doing a three point lighting over here. And it will be here inside this. Okay, so this is my camera view so you just check the cam view how it is looking i need to just make sure that this object is on the ground so you can just select these objects now all this object come out of so you have this uh, cap top and this is named as cylinder so i have to name it as uh, shampoo bottle Okay, so I'll just name it and I'll just select all these three elements and let's bring this down. So it should be touching this ground. It should not be air in the air. So I just check it. Uh, that's fine. Okay, so now uh, let's see the render of this. So go to this render settings. So I don't want to see in the EU. I'll just go for cycles. And let's see this render how it looks. You can also go for uh, render here and click on render image to check. Just to get an idea of, we didn't give the material yet, so we'll just check this how it does it looks. Okay. Okay, so uh, I'll just uh, add some more lights into the scene. So let's scale this. Okay, so let's start adding the material now. So you have to be inside this AU um, render so we can render it fast. Just rotate it like this. I just want to fix the light position first, then we go for material. So I feel this will be fine. Now select this object and uh, what are the cap is there? So just select this two cap objects. So we have this. Now we have to go to this material. Click on new. Add some material to this. So let's give a little bit of darker green. So just want to give this much dark green uh, material for this like this if you want to make dark you can just make like this dark and name this material as a cap okay now for this also on the top uh, now if you want to make it more uh, shiny material you have to reduce this uh, roughness value so if i reduce this roughness now you can see that shininess uh, will come on the top of this so if it is very shiny you adjust this 
how much specular value you want you can just adjust that spread specular value over here okay so now select this top part again for that also i'll just uh, give the same uh, material okay now select this body new just uh, name it as body and apply some uh, light green material okay. now let's uh, render and check this a uh, shot so if you want to adjust the roughness of this i just i want a little bit of nice shiny material there so just adjust this roughness now let's render and check after that we'll go for uh, texturing so this looks like this in view render so i'll just go for cycles uh, render so let's go for render and render image Is it takes time uh, because this is this will give uh, a good result because it will all have that global illumination inside it the bounce light will affect and this will give you a more realistic result uh, when you render inside the cycles uh, let's check now how does it look Also, we can see this now. Now we can just go for uh, unwrapping uh, this object. So, okay, so let's uh, bring the bottle a little much closer to the cam, or I'll just go to the camera option, go to this camera settings. Here we can change it to focal length to 80. 80. Now we can see much closer. Let's pull this back a little bit. Okay, so make sure that this all the three things I'll just select and I just want to rotate so just give some angle for this bottle don't keep it straight at an angle I just want to give for this and select the camera lift up a little bit Okay, so for this uh, background also, I just want to give some material. So let's add some uh, material for the background also. So just add, just change the color of this. Okay, and uh, if you want it to be reflective, reduce the roughness. So that's it. Okay, so now we'll just uh, go and see uh, how to do unwrapping for this uh, bottle and I just want to give the label for this. 